Hey TLT Tears, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to hit that thumbnail to watch this video and do what you can to help support this channel. Before we start the video, please hit the thumbs up button, the subscribe button, and the notification button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And as always, if you're not a member yet, please consider hitting that join button. I greatly appreciate it. Now, in today's video, we're going to take a look at some Linux news that I think is pretty exciting. I think it's going to be good. Uh, I found it over at 9 to 5 Linux, and um, it's it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and roll the intro, and then we'll get into it. And here it is. Uh, it's over at 9to5 uh, Linux. You can find it over there. Which, If you're not familiar with 9to5 Linux, it is a website that's Linux news-centric. And you can find just about anything over there. And uh, I was perusing it on Friday when I saw this article. And I thought uh, the 28th when I saw this article. And uh, it was pretty cool. And uh, I thought it's interesting because it reminded me that GNOME, what, what it is, is they're working on the window management system on how GNOME handles Windows. But what they're doing, I think, if you watch the videos that they've included in here, is they're actually capitalizing on the Wayland protocols. And uh, the developer uh, at Guadec23 announced it over there, Tobias. And that's where they go and they discuss about, you know, it's a conference where they discuss what they're doing with the GNOME system and that kind of stuff. And so uh, what they were talking about is that when windows open, like they'll overlap each other and they'll, you know, arrange themselves in like a cascading manner. But then also if they're stacking, the top one will open up over top of the other ones and it creates a mess. And if it's full HD, it'll just take over the whole, the whole screen at a hundred percent. And so, and they'll open up over other ones, which is like stacking mode, and they'll no longer be visible. So they're trying to handle their their window, you know, management a lot better. And being that they've gotten Wayland handed to them and they've adopted the Wayland protocol, it only makes sense that they do this and they capitalize on the greatness of what Wayland's bringing to the table. Like if you've ever used Wayland, like Sway or Hyperland or River, you look at any of those guys. They, they, they kind of bring that window management because they are window managements. They're tiling type window managements to the forefront of Wayland because they use transitions and you know animations and stuff, and they're very configurable and really beautiful. Actually, they they really add a sense of beauty, and that's why so many people are jumping to Wayland in the early stages of it because it's just sweet looking and. Uh, so they're, they're, I think in, when you look at it, they're, they're capitalizing on that. So let's go ahead and like play this video right here. And I'll open it up in a larger format and you can see, see how the, the animations are there. Uh, they're a little rough in the beginning still, but nonetheless, they're there. Like the fade out, the fade in, the pop out, the slide, all that kind of stuff. I mean, you used to get that in comp is, but it would require a lot of resourcing and stuff like that. So see how I did that? It's almost like a tiling window manager. And so I would imagine that, you know, with time, they're going to finesse it and it's going to look a little bit better. Uh, you can go and check out the videos over there uh, at 9 to 5 time at Linux because it's right in the article. I mean, like, it's pretty cool. If you drag it to the top, it made full screen. Uh, it had the transition of it where, it, like, magic, not magic lamp, but, like, faded in and stuff like that. So I, to me, I think that they're, like I said, they're really trying to capitalize on the Wayland on the Wayland protocols and the Wayland almost tiling manager aspect. And they're bringing it to an actual desktop environment, which is doing it way better than KWIN does with their their tiling manager that, that for KDE, uh, which I imagine maybe KDE is going to start taking a look at this and trying to incorporate some of that because they've adopted the Wayland protocol too. And, Basically, all in all, it, it's going to be a positive move for their design on GNOME. And 
I think it's really going to imp improve the actual responsiveness of GNOME and also the drive of GNOME, the use of GNOME. I think I, I think a lot of people are going to actually start using GNOME more because it's going to actually add a lot of kind of eye candy and, you know, the stuff that people like, riceness, so to, so to speak, to the GNOME desktop. Uh, as far as, you know, me looking forward to trying out and do a review on it, uh, you can bet I'm going to, that's for sure. Uh, other than that, I just figured I, made, I thought it was really cool, so I just want to put that out there. Uh, either way, you guys keep doing what you do. Keep on Linux and stay blessed. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next one. I think the girls with the nails done.